As a result of flash flooding from January 1st, Pike County officials came out to the Big Creek Fire Department to assess damages for federal relief. Uh, this is the worst of the three events we've had uh, this year. I think we're going to be somewhere north of 100 structures damaged. Uh, so far, the efforts have been to get the roads open back up, uh, to try to get water restored. We still have a lot of folks that were, are without water. And, you know, the, the weather between Saturday and now has, of course, the temperatures have fallen, uh, 40 plus degrees, and now we're dealing with trying to clean up uh, flood damage in, uh, in, in almost in near freezing temperatures. In the last of three flash flooding events to hit Pike County, Jones says that the recent flooding event has been far worse, stating the number of homes damaged. Following the flooding, Jones says they are seeking to relocate a few of their fire stations. Uh, Rick Green, who's the chief, uh, just told me this is the fourth time in 20 years that the fire department's flooded. The Blackberry Volunteer Fire Department's main stage or station flooded in September. Um, and we are in the process of trying to do a hazard mitigation grant to locate or relocate that station out of the floodplain. Um, this station is going to have to be moved because uh, this department has in the past uh, been uh, a key uh, to help in recovery efforts after flood events. In 2012, Eastern Kentucky was devastated by tornadoes. Within days, people in Western Kentucky stepped up to help the people of our region. Pikeville Medical Center is a Christian organization committed to helping others, and that includes our neighbors in Western Kentucky. Our commitment goes far beyond those who come to our hospital for treatment. That sentiment is echoed from all of us at Double Quick. The need is great right now in Western Kentucky, and we know the people of Eastern Kentucky are ready and willing to help. During this season of giving, please consider donating to those who have found themselves with nothing just days before Christmas. In-person donations can be made to all Pikeville Medical Center facilities and the register at all Double Quick locations. To donate online, go to www.givetopmc.org. With actions such as recovery and rescue so crucial to the community, Joan says they are also looking to relocate the Blackberry Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, we're very fortunate that the uh, Belfry Fire Department uh, did not get substantially damaged. We've got a lot of flood damage in the, in the Belfry area, a lot of flood damage here in Big Creek, but the damage also goes over into Blackberry and into uh, 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 the Phelps area as well. With upwards of 100 homes damaged by flooding, Emergency Management Director Doug Tackett says most people have returned home, however, they are still receiving calls. We'll probably have the county done uh, Wednesday or Thursday. We're still getting calls of damage in places we weren't aware of, but uh, we're going to get all those too. So it'll take a couple of three days to get it all done, and we've got to roll it up to the state, and then the state's got to get it from all the other counties as well, and it, it'll, take a pro it'll be a process to get it all done. If you would like to report flood damage, you can call Pike County Emergency Management at 606-432-0210. Additionally, for emergency notifications, you can sign up for the RAVE 911 system at smart911.com. Reporting from Pike County, Kentucky, for Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.